Audio waveforms look super cool and they make your videos, especially podcasts or lyric videos, look really, really interesting. But making an audio waveform or adding it into your videos can take a long amount of time and most tutorials on YouTube take at least over 10 minutes just to explain the very basics. So let me show you how you can easily generate these audio waveforms for free using Veed. To get here, you just want to click on the first link in the description or just type in veed.new into your URL. Once you're in, you'll need to upload your footage to Veed or you can use any of the stock footage that you can see here. Give that a moment and it should show up like this. So we can see that the video and audio file are on the timeline ready for us to get started. To add an audio waveform for a video, head over to the elements tab on the left hand menu. There are many different types of waveforms that you can choose from depending on the style of video that you're going for. But for this video, I'm just going to choose this classic waveform that reminds me of a podcast. Once you've clicked on that, it will now show up on the timeline as a brand new layer, which you can move, expand, you can lengthen it and shorten it. Now, in order to make sure that the waveform actually captures the correct audio, you'll need to make sure that you line it up with the audio track that's on the timeline. So now that I've got it aligned, let's edit it to the way that we want. We can actually change the opacity, the color, the size, position, as well as actually the level of decibels that we want to capture in this waveform. But if you have no idea how to measure that or what the decibels mean, leave it the way that it is because it will capture everything that you put into the audio. And there you have it. We've lined up the audio with the waveform. So now it should automatically capture it once we play the video. This was super, super easy to do and it makes our video pop already. So let's add some little extra things to make it stand out even more. So here I've actually just added a call to action to let the viewers know that they can check out this podcast on Spotify and to get this you can go back to the elements tab that we were on before and scroll down to call to action and have it show up on here. You can also have logos such as YouTube, Facebook or Messenger. I've also added some text and transitions into this video so if you want to learn how to do those with Veed feel free to click on this video here where we talk about animations, transitions and text effects. So let's get this exported so we can download it and share it to our socials. Head on over to the top right of the page and click on export Check the settings to make sure that you're exporting it at the right resolution. So this video is 1080p that I recorded at, so I'll click that option. And now you can press the export your video. And here we go, it's all exported. So you can now either download this video, you can embed it into your website, or you can share it on social media straight away. Let me know in the comments what you're using these audio waveforms for. Is it a podcast? Is it a YouTube video? Let me know. And if you're interested in making your videos look better using V, then I recommend that you click on these two videos here to watch and learn more. And I'll see you guys over there. Goodbye.